Hello, this is my 2002 Yamaha YZ85, and in this video, I'm making it electric. I've got to let the bike do the talking first. This is a dream build, a YZ85 converted to electric. Electro & Co killed it with this build. They call it the EMX 17. Every single part is redone. We powder coated the frame, rebuilt the suspension, the brakes. We threw on custom supermoto wheels, fresh plastics with custom decals, and most importantly, their waterproof battery, motor, and controller that make this bike electric without compromising any performance allegedly so let's see if this bike rides as good as it looks first ride there's just one button to turn it on it couldn't be easier it feels so much bigger than the Ceron. here we go oh i just need gloves so this bike has three power levels i'm starting in power level one first impression is that this is very smooth so much smoother and more predictable than the uh, gas version of this bike which is a two-stroke one of the main reasons to convert to electric is just butter let's turn it up into two wow much more power in two. Oh, this is nice it's so much bigger than the Suron and the wheels are so much bigger and it's a little bit heavier so I just feel so grounded I need to find a parking lot I already have the urge to wheelie this I wasn't sure how the geometry on a YZ85 is with these fat supermotos, but it really, it feels just like it's made for it. Get into this parking lot. Whenever I try to wheelie a bike, I wanna make sure that the rear brake can lock with just one finger. Okay, awesome. 
Wow, these are strong brakes. Just gonna try a little circle wheelie here, get a feel for the balance point. Whoa. Wow, that was so easy. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, it just wheelies so nicely. It wheelies like a boat. If a boat could wheelie, I guess. Okay, I'm out. I don't even like circle wheelies. <laughs> Look at this thing. I have never seen one of these before. Electric YZ85 Supermoto. If you've seen one, please put it down below. This might be the world's first. I think I'm gonna claim it. Oh, I wanna put it into mode three. Okay, we're in mode three. Wow. That was not full power. Riding into the sunset. Oh my God. Oh, that, oh my God. That felt so good. I, I'm like already wheeling this because it's like a Suron. It's like a big Suron. I was not, I was not even close to this comfortable on this bike when it was gas. Here we go. Oh man. Wow. It's so smooth. Oh, look at this. This is my first time riding this bike. Oh my God. It literally just feels like a big star on. This is so fun. Come on. I still got it up. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, I'm riding like a goon right now because this is amazing. Uh oh, knee wheelie. Come on. You're kidding. This is so much more comfortable than knee wheeling a Surion. <laughs> Oh, I feel so badass right now. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, I can't drop it. It stays up too, too easily. Wow. Electron Co. I wanna learn how to wheelie it without holding on so hard. I think I need to squeeze more with my legs. There's so much more to hug onto on this bike. I want to pop it with no body weight, just throttle. Oh, there you go. Literally no body weight. Just snap the wrist and it's up. None of that clutch nonsense. And this is a handbrake. This is a hand rear brake. We put a formula rear brake on it. One finger and you're locking the rear wheel. Wow. I am just in the street on a full-sized YZ85 custom as fuck. Oh, I'm gonna sneak through. Steal the wheelie. Oh. Wow. This feels so good. It's so butter. It's so predictable. And the power is just there when you want it. Oh. This is like a spiritual experience right now. First time wheeling like an actual dirt bike that's not homemade. Oh. Wow. Ooh, it is heavier though, just in terms of holding the bars during the wheelie. Okay, so now I feel ready to explain why we did this to a YZ85. I'm sure a lot of people might be frustrated that we took a beautiful two-stroke dirt bike that was functioning perfectly, tore out the motor and everything else and made it electric. And there's really three reasons that come to mind. And I bet you're already bored, so I'm gonna start wheeling while I explain the first one. I already forgot what it was. <laughs> this is too fun, what was the first reason? Oh, because you can do this. Like, I'm, I'm silent. If I mean, let's take a police officer, for example. If they don't see me, they don't know I exist. I'm silent, but deadly. If, if you're out of sight, you're out of mind. A two-stroke, this exact bike, before it was electric, if I was riding out here, people would hear me from like two miles away. Ooh, this is a nice road. Getting ready for number two, I'm trying to remember it. Number two was, oh right, 
maintenance. You can go out and ride like this every single day and the only maintenance you have to do is plug it into the wall. That's it. Maybe lube the chain once a month. No oil change, top end, spark plug, air filter. I don't know what you gassers are doing over there, but whatever it is, it's not riding. And while you're fixing your air filter and your clutch spark or whatever, <laughs> I'm out here riding. Wow. So it's the stealth, it's the low maintenance, and I would even say no maintenance. And the third reason would be the benefits of electric as far as performance alone. Look at this. No, you don't have to worry about the clutch. You don't have to worry about your gear or your RPM. Oh, I want a wheelie? Okay, snap the throttle. Come on. Come on. You, you just can't beat that. It's so easy. So much torque. So much predictability in the throttle. So much power. You can just be in the zone. You don't have to worry about anything else. Let's try a seat stander. F*** it. The seat is so big. There's so much room for activities on here. Oh, we're up. Massive shout out to Electron Co for building this insane bike. Got a lot more content coming with it. And as always, stay tuned.